in the second part of the video, we'll be looking into anti-image correlation. So from the SPSS output on anti-image correlation, what you have to do, you have to check for all the values that are at the diagonal. And if any of the value is less than 0 0.5, you have to delete the value. In our case here, for A5, the value is 0 0.47, which is less than 0 0.5. Therefore, we need to delete this item. And if let's say you have more than one item having value less than 0 0.5, then you will also delete that item. However, be careful, you delete the item one by one, not together. Let me show you how you can go to SPSS and delete the item. Data, you repeat the same thing. You go to Analyze, Dimension Reduction, Factor, and we're going to remove item number five here. Yeah, and as we have done the rest earlier, so it will be the same here. Yeah, so we just don't have to do anything. And you click OK. So you can see I have deleted item A5. And if we check all the diagonal values here again, all the values are greater than 0 0.5. After deleting the items, if you check the value for KMO, the value is 0 0.708, where the value is higher compared to when the items were not deleted, where the value of KMO was 0 0.641. And after deleting, the value have increased. So watch out for the third part, which will cover on total variance explained and script plot.